Never before has there been such uncertainty in the Middle East. Families without a country, children without schools, Christians without a place to safely worship. Now is the time to face such uncertainty with God's own answer. We are changing people's lives through the gospel and Christian teachings. We can reach the hearts of people who seek and find Christ through a messenger like Sat7. If you're a Christian in Iran, they badger you a lot. For instance, I couldn't say that I'm a Christian in school, and if I or anyone spoke about this, they would expel us from school. They were saying you shouldn't study this in school. Believers in Iran have many challenges. First off, as everyone knows, converting to Christianity is a crime. There was no church for us to go to worship or have Bible study. I was forced to leave Iran, and I came to Turkey. Refugees have very difficult lives. Some people lost their identity. Like a person who's drowning in a swamp, we have only to look up to Jesus and trust Him and pray that He puts the right people on the path we're walking on. Even though we cannot estimate the number of churches and house churches in northern Iran, praise be to God, God is really working. We are all wondering what God's plan is to change Iran so we could all go back to our country in the future. How beautiful that would be. In our prayers and church prayers, we always have this in the back of our minds.